What? Rachel McGrage, get up. It's been 10 weeks since your last video. Get out of bed and do the only thing that you're good for. What are you talking about? I did a mukbang video. I did a senpai reaction video. I did a makeup parody. I've been doing all sorts of videos. No one cares about that. Not unless there's the word incel in the title. Now get up and finish the series. No, I don't want to. Why not? It's emotionally draining. No one cares. Do what the views demand. Ugh, fine. Do what the views Gosh. demand. Ugh, oh, I hate this. Hello! What's up simps and totally not simps? I'm back! Did you miss me? You miss me. Don't tell me you didn't miss me. Well, a lot has changed since my last video I actually went on this podcast um, called This Podcast. Yeah, if you really want to know my true feelings about incels, if I hate them or not, or just, you know, like if I like to bully them for any kind of reason, or like what do I actually think? about incels, then you can go watch that podcast. But I'm not sure if you'd really want to because the quality is super bad. So here's some clips of it, some, some highlights, and I just save you the trouble and pick the ones where um, I was talking because, I mean, those are the best parts. So how did you get into the whole um, forum? Like how did you get into like an incel sort of stuff? Well, you know, they just, they let in anybody. So it was super easy for me to, to go in there and see everything. Some of these um, incels are really young and maybe haven't experienced a lot of life, but they jump into the black pill. And now all of a sudden everything is hopeless when you know they could have just waited another year or two for more opportunity. And yeah, I have the old footage too. I'm gonna show you it in a little bit because you know it's, it's time to, to unveil that. But um, hey, look at this clip. I've been depressed before and I know where that's coming from and I know it's it's better to to talk about it but I mean with no have an outlet with no you know with no like rope to climb yourself out of I think that that's ultimately bad. Wow so so smart so profound. No, oh, so memes. I love memes, dude. Let's talk about memes. Has anybody else got a closing statement? If not, well, no. Yeah, let's just talk about Nazis now, because I saw a bunch of Nazi memes. Hey, Littler. <laughs> like, like... Me and Duke are ex-Nazis. I mean, they use the same humor. I'm an ex-fascist, so I have the same humor as so. well. <laughs> yeah, like, we're not, we don't support it, but we're anarchists. Right, so let, me, let me point something out. Mm -hmm. I was going to talk to some incels, and I went straight to Nazis. Like incels or Nazis, Nazis or incels. You know, my my host was very. Um, am I allowed to say articulate? He was very well educated on um, all the incel fandom, and you know, likes to invite Nazis on his discords. So you know, that's been really fun. Yeah, this is this is why people click on my videos because they're like, wow, she is so smart. She is not like a normal, you know, femoid as incels call them. Jeez, I want to I want to listen to her for hours, you know, because some people said like, oh, yeah, are you actually going to debunk things or just, you know, talk out your ass? Well, incels, I thoroughly enjoyed roasting you guys. It was a uh, very um, personable and, um, you know, very personable and real experience. Uh, it gave me the feels at times. It made me feel a lot of different things. Thanks for letting me into your forum, even though it's a public forum and anyone can get in there. Uh, <laughs> but you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna roast incels forever. I actually, um, America needs me. America needs me because uh, the world's ending. So you know, don't be offended if I don't just make more videos on incels. Uh, it's not that I don't care about you guys or you know want to expose cringe or anything. It's that the world is literally on fire right now, and I feel like it's my responsibility to report on that for some reason. Uh, like, like this. Just, just roll the clip. Here it is. We're going to 
why I transitioned and um, how I'm coping now that I am detransitioning. It's myself, it matters what bathroom I use, it matters who I'm allowed to live with, it affects every aspect of my life. So you saying- What pronouns what, should I use? You should use they, them pronouns. So you saying that and you don't- And what if I don't? Me, what if I don't? If you don't, I would consider that disrespectful and that's actually an act of violence to misgender a trans- It's an act of violence. Think of the salon and have that person disrobe from the waist down and then have this individual, the service provider, provide this very personal service. Yana filed a complaint two months later claiming discrimination. She wants $25,000 for the injury to her dignity and self-respect. The way my skin feels on my bones or the way that I only feel like home when no one knows what exactly it is I am, so... Maybe I'm a man. I don't think that's right. Yay! Yeah! I'm, I'm so excited to jump into this new topic as a cisgender uh, white woman who likes men. I love if people could just assume my gender. I mean, that's just me. So that's it. Um, a few months ago, I did the insales.net footage. Um, I've been sitting on it for a few months and since then the world has ended, but I'm gonna show you this old footage now. Um, just me drinking and ranting and, you know, combing through really weird threads, so, um, yeah, I'm not, you know, a public enemy of incels, necessarily, but I am a roast comedian, so, I mean, anything- <laughs> comedians too. Yeah, just a lot of comedians can't get laid, so I mean, there's your outlet. Anything with a frog post is just top quality, you know? It's in the hole's nature. Back in the days before Industrial Revolution. Okay, yeah, he's red pill or whatever. Holes! I am a hole and I have something to say to you in response. I'm just gonna scroll for more frogs, cause I know that they're the best ones, so. Why I hate females in one Reddit post. Oh yeah, y you know why this is here. That is because it got banned from Reddit. How many Reddit posts from incels have been banned? I don't know. Why no woman should fear dying alone? Probably true. Yeah, you know what? Pussy just is worth more than dick. Dick is so cheap. Nobody else is surprised by this except for the incels. Yeah, in the dating market, dick is very cheap. No one gives two shits about single middle-aged men. Ah, uh, yeah, it depends on if they have money or not because if they were halfway decent at life, they probably have something of that age. But if they don't, who fucked up? You did. Single middle-aged men are, are kind of trash. <laughs> Let's be honest. Rates of suicide are highest in middle-aged men. Why? Well, okay, why middle-aged? Are you? <laughs> this is the guy who commented on he did a response video. How much do you want to bet that this guy is the only, only poster, poster? <laughs> He's the only dude or creature in the incel community over 30. I'll bet you money he's the only one. And that's why he's he was like, oh yeah, don't worry, I'll do a response video, kiddos. And yeah, okay. Sorry to say this, but your middle-aged man wine baby post is totally irrelevant to anyone else in the fucking incel boards because you're the only one who's that old and that holeless. <laughs> can't believe I said that. All right, suicide rates highest in middle-aged men. Yeah, because they fucked up over and over again and their lives are trash. It has nothing to do if they're getting late or not. They just, they're trash. They have no motivation. Women go make tell the time and we don't need a social movement don't need a movement being a cat lady is 100% choice quite prefer preferable to being bothered with a man 
Okay. Okay. We'll get some cats, or get some dogs, or get some, or work on cars, or have fish tanks or something, and don't call it a MGTOW movement. That point is just, it makes no sense. It's for nothing. And like, no one told you you needed to have MGTOW. You could have just had some fucking hobbies. But I don't know, I don't know what the fuck that means. What's the point in that? Someone explain this to me. Please don't explain this to me. <laughs> Loneliness is a male problem. No, it's not. And I'll tell you why. It's because women hate each other. A lot. I was going to make a point about that, but that's for another video. Most women outlive most men. Well, you know what? When you have to raise children to adulthood and take care of fucking grandkids because everyone else is in your family is too trash to do it themselves, yeah, you tend to live longer. Oh, USA is the worst country in the world for males. Yeah, because it's not Saudi Arabia where women have no rights and you have to marry someone in order to do anything. Yes, please tell me. I can't wait. Hold on. Co-host time. Mm. He has this link. We're gonna follow it blindly and see what happens. Okay, this article, I just wanna point out this article he linked mentions Chad, a North African country. Coincidence? Coincidence? I don't think so! It's Chad! He's out to get us! Even as the economy roared, more Americans were stressed, angry, and worried last year than they have been at most points during the decade. So the United States is getting shittier. What does that do with Chad? Okay, so they have no capital in Chad. By the United States, they're not as happy. As a single man in the USA, I have to say, we are maybe one of the top five worst countries in the world to live in unless you are good looking. Okay, you lost me. This is a nothing post. Cope. There's a drug traded between incels, and it's called cope. Parents, watch out. I've never lived in other countries, so I cannot agree with 100% certainty. Well, we have a sane individual. I never thought I'd see that. Fun fact, though, we are now killing more civilians in the Middle East than the Taliban, so maybe this is deserved. We deserve to be unhappy because we're killing people in the Middle East. That is half of a point. Yes. Oh shit. Oh, we got an essay. Oh, he's talking about kings and serfdom and he's got this royalty fetish. And then he mentions dad bod. What the hell is this shit? Bleach. Bleach is pretty active in December. In Texas, you don't have to have a license or anything to buy a gun. That's true, uh, makes sense. Also, keep an eye on this guy, cause uh, shooter level, he's like the next, you know. All right, he's talking about guns and how expensive they are and how badass they are. I wanna go do something fucking awesome with them. Okay, yeah, so, so he's preparing to uh, kill some hoes, sounds like. Frogman says, guns are cope for me too. Shooting them are pretty fun. Go for it, brah. This is it. This is where um, killers are still kindled, you know? The, the shitty things people say about the incel community, it is not unwarranted, it is fact, and here is proof. And he did that in December. Has he been banned yet? He hasn't been banned yet. Guns have so much power. I'm centered. I'm calm. I'm yogi. Guns have so much power you could end all of your suffering with so little effort. Or make the world who disdained you pay. <sighs> it takes great willpower to resist its call. Wow, you know, we got a poet in here. Maybe you should just, like, write violent movie scripts or something, because, I mean...
I guess I'm getting a different actor so you don't have to. 